Hey, this is Adam for RealHomeRecording.com. This is the Ozone 9 in-depth tutorial series. This video is all about the signal chain. That's this section right here where you will find your different Ozone 9 modules. This is a general overview of the controls for the modules as well. These icons are very important to memorize because they are universal for the entire plugin. First of all, to add a module, you click on the plus sign or anywhere within this box right here. I'll add equalizer number one. And if I want to add another module, I click this box now and I will add the vintage compressor. I'll go back to equalizer number one so I can show you the different settings right here. Now in the signal chain section itself, we have bypass, which is the upper left corner. We have the solo button, which is an S with a circle around it. What this does is it bypasses every other module except the one that you've soloed. By the way, it's obvious when you bypass a module because it grays out. And if I had these options going, you could see that as well. This button with the three lines at the bottom is our preset manager for the module. And yes, it's presets for whatever specific module you have. If I click on the one on Vintage Comp, it'll show me these and whatever custom ones you may have used. If you click the X button, it removes the module. And if you accidentally removed it, come up here and click the undo button and it will add it right back. If you click and hold your mouse button and then drag, you can change your modules order. If I had a third one open, you could do that. Like so. Every module box also has meters on the right side. They're a little hard to see, but when I play audio, you can see them move. The left meter is the input, and the right meter is the output. Okay, now in the actual module part of the plugin window, if you look in the upper left corner, we have these two buttons. This is for the equalizer. Now, these will be different depending on which module you're using but this is called the module view. If I click on one of these, now this is the one that's already selected, it looks like this. If I click on the one next to it that looks kind of like a ball, you can see that it added the different bands and other controls at the bottom here. And the reason you want to do that is sometimes you want to see more of the spectrum view, which I'll show you right now. And sometimes we want to see all the different controls. Next to that is the global filter processing type. The equalizer can either be analog or digital, depending on what flavor you're going for. Typically, analog filters sound better when boosting. Digital sounds more transparent when cutting. Digital also takes up less CPU. To the right of that is the channel processing mode. I've talked about this already, but if you click it, you can either choose stereo, which is the default, mid-side, also known as sum and difference, or left and right. And if you click on left and right, you choose it like this. You can also solo left or right with the S. You can also bypass one of the channels or both channels. Or here's a cool little option. You can do what's called channel link. So let's say I have the left one like this and the right one like this, choose channel link, and guess what? If I change one of these parameters, one of these bands, you'll see what happens. Pretty neat, right? And if you reset it to the default, after I get rid of the channel link, it allows us to have the same control on both left and right just for while channel links on. 
See that? But then once I disable the channel link, it'll change relative to what I had it on before. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, that's it for now. Please go check out the rest of the videos in this Ozone 9 tutorial series. Thanks for watching this realhomerecording.com video. You can get monthly audio engineering news and exclusive videos by signing up for our newsletter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and consider subscribing. Have some questions? Feel free to ask them in the comment section below.